In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to do myofascial release around sacrum. You know, sacrum is very important for low back pain, pelvic movement, and such a thing. So, tension around sacrum is so important. Where do I work? In this video, I'm going to show you on the edge of sacrum. Here, and it's very hard to see, and there is a sacral base here. You know, sacrum is kind of a triangular shape. I work on here and here. I will show you on here, okay? I put the flat surface of elbow on edge of sacrum. I don't go on the sacrum. It's gonna hurt the bone. Edge of the sacrum, kind of this. The sink into the fascia of the sacrum, sinking, sink in. Imagine you sink deeply. Then move a little bit until the fascia starts to move. If I exaggerate, sink in, then move. But this is too big. This is very subtle movement move very slowly, very small movement. There's gluteus maximus, piriformis, and other connective tissues around here. That's why releasing this part can affect hip movement, sacral movement, and maybe pelvic movement. Okay, this is this part. Now, you don't see the sacral base, but I put elbow here between the PSIS this part of sacrum is deeper about this level so you need to go deeper to engage to sacrum this part is shallow this part is deep please remember this that's why I need to go deeper okay on this part, multifidus or erector spinae, like back muscles attach this part. The first part, there was gluteal muscles. On this part, there are back muscles. Sink in, then slow movement. Okay? Now, on next part, I'm going to show you on real person. Now I will show you on real person. This is gluteal area. Imagine the sacrum here, triangular shape. I'm going to work on lateral part of the sacrum. I use flat surface of elbow, feel the edge of sacrum, put elbow, sink in very, very deeply. As soon as I reach to fascia, fascia starts to react. Wait until fascia finishes reaction. Good, it's very, very good. It's same thing if you want to work on other side. It's just different hand placement. This way, or this way. Either way, if you, uh, either one you are comfortable with. Now on the sacral base. Remember, this is very very deep compared to lateral part. You need to go very deeply. However, I am putting force vertically. If somebody has spondylolisthesis you should be very careful, or you should avoid this work. This can compress lumbar, so if somebody has severe low back pain, mm, you should avoid this work. Either way, you can use left elbow or right elbow. Don't use pointy part. It would hurt bones good lateral part of the sacrum and base of sacrum there are many many 
muscles attach on sacrum. This is very good technique. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.